Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.36 from Sadiku book. So the question is solve for V in the following differential equation subject to the stated initial condition. Okay, we are given two differential equation. Let's get started on problem A first. Okay, problem A, let's rewrite the problem. So we will have dV over dt and then plus V is equal to ut. Okay, ut means that if this t is less than 0, this is 0. But then if this is greater than 1, this is 1, right? So we can rewrite it like this, dv over dt plus v is equal to 1, but for t is greater than equal to 0. Okay, and we cannot separate, I think we can, yeah, we can separate this differential equation here. So maybe let's, let's move this V to the right hand side. So we will have dV over dt. And then that on the right hand side, I will have 1 minus V. Good. Now let's swap this dt with. 1 minus v here. So we will have dv over 1 over v, 1 minus v, I mean, and that will equal to dt, right? And okay, let's integrate both sides, right? So we will have integral dv divided by 1 minus v. And then on the right hand side, I will have integral dt. Okay, and this will be ln, right? Ln, but 1 minus v, but due to the chain rule, we can have minus sign here. And then on the right hand side, I will have t plus some constant. Okay. And if this is the case, then we can we can make this uh, to the left hand side. Maybe let's make it C2. Let's move this minus sign to the right hand side. So we'll have learn 1 minus V and then minus T minus C1. But I want to name that as some constant 2 to make it easier. And then let's take exponential of both sides. So I will have e to the learn this one that that will leave us with 1 minus v, right? 1 minus v and then on the right hand side I will have e to the minus t plus c2. Okay? That is good. Uh Okay, now 1 minus v is equal to, I think we can rewrite this as e to the minus t multiplied by e to the c2. But then c2 is a constant, so I will have 1 minus v is equal to a, and then e to the minus t. Okay, now we can isolate the v here to the right hand side, so I will have v is equal to 1 minus a e to the minus t. Or on the left hand side, because it's depend on t, I will write it as e t. Okay, now our task is to find out a, and we can get it from this initial condition. So we will have v0 is equal to 0, and so on the left hand side, I will have 1 minus a e to the minus 0 and that will equal to 0. So I have 1 minus a multiplied by 1 and that will equal to 0 or a is equal to 1. And we can substitute this back into this function. So we'll have ut is equal to 1 and then minus 1. So I will have e to the minus t. And this is the answer for question A.
okay now let's move on to question b but let's clean up the board first okay now let's move on to question b okay so we will have 2 dv over dt minus v is equal to 3 ut okay but we can simplify this into 2 dv dt minus v is equal to 3 for t is greater than equal to 0. Okay. Uh, I think we can use separation of variable yet again. So I will have dv over dt and this is 2 here and on the right hand side i will have v plus 3 okay and then i will have dv over dt and we can divide both sides by 2 right so i will have 0 0.5 v and then plus 1.5 good uh, and I think I can I can separate this so I move this dt to the right hand side and this this linear function here to the numerator to the denominator there so I will have dv over 1.5 v plus 1.5 so 0 0.5 v plus 1.5 and then on the right hand side i will have dt okay and this is good because we can integrate both sides here okay on the left hand side we will have the natural log function so we will have 0 0.5 v plus 1.5 however because of the chain rule we need to multiply this by 2 right and then on the right hand side i will have some t plus some constant here okay now let's isolate the two isolate the learn here so we will have learn 0.5 v and then plus 1.5 and then let's divide this by two so we will have 0.5 t and then plus some constant so c1 divided by 2 i define that as c2 okay we can take the exponential of both sides so i will have e 0.5 v oh no 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 that is not like that e to the ln will cancel each other so yeah. we will have 0.5 v plus 1.5 and then on the right hand side i will have e to the 0.5 t plus c2 okay so we will have 0 0.5 v and then plus 1.5 and we will have e to the c2 e to the 0 0.5 t okay that is good now this is a constant so we will have 0 0.5 v and then that will equal to let's move this to the right hand side first so i'll have minus 1.5 and then plus e to the c2 is just a constant so i write it as a and then e to the 0.5 t now we can divide both sides by 0.5 or multiply both sides by 2 right so we will have v is equal to minus yeah plus 2a e to the 0 0.5 t because v is depends on t that will be vt now we know that v0 is equal to minus 6 so we will have v0 is equal to minus 6 let's plug that in so we will have minus 3 and then plus 2a uh e to the zero okay e to the zero is equal to minus six so we will have two a 
multiplied by 1, that will be still 2a, and then we will have minus 3. So a will be minus 1.5. Okay, and let's plug that in. So I'll have vt is equal to minus 3. 2 multiplied by this, I will have minus 3. So I have minus 3 e to the 0 0.5. And I think that's all for this problem. This is our final answer. And thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.